Hi guys, I am Ashutosh and today I am going to talk about React Liquid Swipe, uh, the animation uh, demo example that I have created uh, recently on my GitHub. So the animation is a component transition animation and it is a liquid swipe animation. I am just going to show you a demo that how it looks and then we will go deeper into it. So it is. it looks like something like this. So it will have like uh, your parent component, and it will have a kind of a small clip path uh, on the left left hand side of your screen. And if you you can drag it, and you can uh, any way drag it, and you can uh, move it as you want. And if, when you touch to the half of the screen, it will go and it will switch to the right screen, and it will give you another component. It's the same you can do with another component and it will do the same thing uh, with this you can create a very soft uh, transition component animation which you can implement it in your website so i've uh, i have recently made this project and i have made it uh, a open source on my github so i am giving the link of the github project in the description box below you can go and you can check it out also you can use it for your own website also so in this website so with, so in this video i am going to talk about how i have made this uh, animation and i am also going to talk about how you can implement it uh, or you can use it in your own website so first of all start this project because it will help reach the wider audience also i have given the all uh, customization or uh, if you want to use it in your website i have given the documentation here as well so you can uh, refer to either to this video or this documentation but i would suggest you to like uh, watch this video because i am go going to cover many things which are not available in this documentation so let's go to the code first so let's go to the code first and we'll look at uh, look at how this thing is built so the website which i have given is a uh, gatsby site so it is built on gatsby and so gatsby it's a, a is a react framework as we all know and uh, it internally uses react so if you are if you know react but you don't know gatsby that's fine if you are going to work uh, on react only and this uh, project will be compatible with react so how did i build this uh, component so i have given i have mentioned the uh, some references in the github project so you can check out those references as well i've used those references uh, and uh, i've used those references to build this component and i've uh, mentioned a code pen link in the that uh, in the github project i i mostly taken the code from that uh, code pen so thanks to yugam who was the creator of that code pen and the all you need to require is this single file that is liquid swipe.js to enable this transition or to build this kind of uh, component transition animation in your website so first of all when you download it so what you need to do is you need to clone or you need to fork the project and you, then you need to clone the project into your local repository then you need to go to source and components and then you will find liquid swipe.js you have to you have to copy the complete code of liquid swipe.js and build a new file called liquid swipe.js in your local directory or in your local project where you want to use it where you want to use it then i would suggest you to remove all the remove the components which are not used because i forgot to uh, remove it then uh, let me tell you how did i create this uh, component so here you can see style.diff so the people who, who have worked with styled components knows that uh, style uh, styled uh, component is a react library which is used to inject css in javascript so there are two ways you can include the css in your react or javascript code one approach would be to create a like a proper css file like this one and then you import your css file into your javascript file and another thing is uh, there are many different libraries available like styled components and uh, style components theme ui styled components theme ui emotion and different kinds of libraries which does the same thing so what it does is they create a div uh, if you 
put style dot div so it will create a div and that div will contain this kind of uh, this properties and you can use this component using the container keyword so we we, are, we have created some containers and some some kind, some elements for our ui which will uh, which uh, which will help us in interacting the website then i am taking the height and width of the complete window of our browser then we have created a path so the clip path which you are seeing on the left side so this path is the same thing which we are looking at this one so it's a react component which is giving a, uh, if we give y x and width then it will give us the complete path clip path then we have a page so all the, uh, so uh, this component will create each and every page of our uh, website or whenever we are passing any children children means it will have a uh, child component and we will also pass the theme theme will have a color like and that color will be used to color this button so uh, uh, i don't know if you have noticed but the color is changing when we are transitioning to other component so here it is white because the background color of this uh, component is white so it is white then if we change that so uh, now the button color will be black because the background color of this one is black so we need to pass that button color as a theme and it will be a string then we need to pass index so it is an index based animation so we have let's say five components and we are like looping over it so we will start from zero one two three four then we again come to zero and then we go and go and so on set activate so it is like uh, so it is this this one is I, i'll explain it a bit later because we are like setting up a page a current page uh, or a current component that we are looking on gone is a different implementation uh, parameter so uh, you can ignore this for as of now and in in uh, to implement this uh, react spring and Re react use gesture has been used so uh, you can see that this uh, if you have used react spring or use gestures uh, in your projects before then uh, this use spring and use effect these keywords uh, use drag these keywords will be familiar familiar to you so here we have used a uh, react spring and uh, react use gestures and then we have returned some components so you can see that we have created page container the co components that we have created using styled components then we have created a clip path and uh, we have made an svg out of it and then we have created a page div that is a complete component which you are uh, seeing on the screen and which you are seeing on the website and then we are passing our children component to it and also we are clipping the path which we have uh, returned from get path to the page div and a style the button is the button to uh, with which we are interacting with that clip path so it has some functions like uh, a when to move that clip path and when to uh, what what to do when the touch is starting or something like that and it is also using the interpolate function from react spring so you can take a look at the code uh, very closely and you can study the code and this is our main component that that you can use if you want to do the if you want to apply the same animation in your website so now uh, 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 this this component takes two arguments one is components and other is colors so components is the uh, uh, will be the array of all the components that you want to render on your website and colors will be the corresponding background colors of those components which you have passed in the as a first argument so uh, what inside it is doing is it is taking like component length and it is uh, applying some algorithm and it is creating a key map so what key map means is which component will be transitioned when uh, when the user will uh, move that button to right side so like for example when we are at so for example let's say we are on zeroth component and this one apple watch se is a zeroth component so which component it will transition transition to when we are moving this button to right so the, if this is a zero then we need to transition to the component one if this is the component one then we need to transition to the component two and if this is the component and we have just three components then this uh, component should should transition back to the component zero so this key map 
will define that one and then we have like uh, used use effect to uh, like uh, create uh, to give this beautiful effect to our animation and then we have just returned the container having the uh, elements of our page so this was about liquid swipe.js but now we, i need to understand that how can i uh, create this in my uh, how, how can i use this component for my own website so as i told you you just need to uh, copy the code of liquid swipe.js from my github repository from my github repository and you need to create your own liquid swipe.js like you just need to copy the, that code and then you need to work on your own component like how to how do you how will you use it so you what you will do is you you will just import the uh, import liquid swipe component from the file which you downloaded then what you will do is you will create a components to render that that will be an array if you if you want to create if you have a file that is kind of a device page and uh, uh, which which will generate your components dynamically then you can push uh, those components in, into a for loop into this array and uh, otherwise you can directly define your components here as well like let's say device page uh, and data is equals to something and something like this so either you can def initialize directly into an array or if you have like uh, dynamically generate generating uh, if you have a component which uh, if uh, which takes an argument and generates an a component dynamically then you can use for loop to uh, push the all the components which you need for your this animation uh, into the array the same thing goes with background colors so either you uh, you can initialize the background colors directly in the array or you can use the uh, for loop to push the background colors into the array and that's it you you only just have to do that thing and then in your react component you just need to define liquid swipe component and uh, you need to pass two arguments one is components and other is colors so uh, components we have passed components to render and colors we have passed background colors and when and once you do it you will get this amazing animation effect into your website but i want to warn you for some of the things that you need to consider and those points i have already mentioned in my uh, in my github repository as a caution so uh, you you can see that so there are there are only uh, there are three points which you need to consider and they, those three points are very major points the first point is the elements on the screen will not be interactable so uh, if you see this screen so you won't be able to click this button or this icons or any other interactions are not possible because the clip path which you are seeing uh, seeing here is is the parent clip path and it is uh, it is having the complete width and height of our browser that is why all the other clickable components are behind it so that is why we are not able to click it so this is, that is the first problem with this animation right now the second problem is if you are using any dynamic color rendering library like a uh, theme ui or any uh, anything which is which is uh, giving a background color to the components which you have passed then this animation will not work because it uh, that library will assign the background color background color to the root of this uh, uh, to the root of this website and not to the particular component so uh, we but we need to change the color uh, uh, but we need to change the color each component wise so uh, this component should be built like you have a div and inside that div you will have some elements and uh, and the parent div will have a different colors so if you have a different color then this animation will feel like something which you wish which you should have on your website and the third point is is that uh, this animation uh, animation will not work right as of now on mobile screens mobile and tablet screens it will only work on the screens which support clicks so i am working on it uh, and i i i am working on it to improve this functionality and i am working on it to resolve these errors so if you have solution in mind and you if you want to contribute to this project you can you can create a pull request and i will be happy to review this pull request so that we can get done very quickly 
so that's it for today guys i i hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new uh, like share and comment on the video and subscribe to my youtube channel uh, you can also support me on patreon.com i have given the link in the description box below if you have any questions uh, i can answer you questions or if you want to have a one on one meeting with me or if you want to include me uh, in your project then you can take any memberships on my patreon page the link is given in the description box below i'll be back with another tutorial next weekend till then stay safe